Good morning, children. Yesterday, we learned about the Congo. It's a location, vegetation, and wildlife. And in part two, today, let us learn about the life of people. We know Congo is located at the central part of Africa. And there is thick forest. So, the construction of roads and other infrastructure is not at all possible or it is not very easy. Due to this reason, population is very less. So it is very thinly populated. Since it is a forest land, so many types of tribes are living. A variety of tribes are found in the forests of Congo. But the most important tribe found here is the Bandhu tribe. What are the features of people of this tribe? The people belonged to this tribe. They are very tall and having curly hair. If you pull their hair, it may come up to one meter, such a long one. And they generally, they like to live in groups in the interior villages. They speak their own local language. Other than tribe, there are another type of people are there. That is pygmies. The pygmies, they like to live in dense forest near the river Congo. They are very short in height, but very stout. Pygmies survive by hunting animals. Their most important weapon is arrow, arrow and bow. But the arrow tippies, they apply a kind of poison. With that, they shoot the animal and kill. They like to collect wild fruits and honey. We know there are so many wild animals are there and they live in the interior of the forest. So they make their hut, small house on the trees with the bamboos. The platform of their or the floor of their hut is made of bamboos. They do not like to wear many clothes. Why? Because it is very hot and humid land. After hunting, they come home with their animals, cook them and eat. After that, they enjoy you know, dancing and singing. Other than tribes and pygmies, the general public, what are their economic activity? Most important economic activity is farming and mining. There are so many mines are there. And those who do agriculture, they never do agriculture on, a, on the same plot of land. They follow shifting agriculture. That means for two, three years, they do cultivation on a particular plot of land. When the fertility is over, they shift to another part of the forest. They clear it and do cultivation. After two, three years, again, the fertility of this land will be over. Then they shift to another part of the forest. So this type of cultivation is called shifting agriculture. DRC is rich in minerals. The important minerals are gold, diamond, manganese, copper, coal, cobalt, and uranium. Since it is an underdeveloped country, they generally export the raw material to the developed Western countries or European countries. Their most important food is cassava. What is cassava? Cassava is almost looking like a radish and taste is like a potato. Shape is muli and taste is aloo. So we can say aloo muli. This is their food, cassava. 
in india especially in the northern part the most important root crop is potato but in congo the most important staple food or their staple food is cassava in the southern part the cassava is called southern part of india it is called kappa and english generally it is called tapioca it is see about the people see on the left side these are the different tribes they every day they go into the forest to collect firewood fruits nuts berries honey etc where whenever they go out they carry a kind of cane basket or bamboo basket they collect everything in the basket sometimes they carry their small kids also in the basket see the girl is returning she went into the forest in the morning and uh, returning back with her goods this is her collection now congo tribal family we know they like to live in clusters uh, three four families these are the different uh, members of the same family within a day they are able to make uh, their house this is a tribal not pygmies like to they like to live on the trees but tribal people they make their houses or small hut in the opening of forest area they engage in making a bamboo basket and many other this basket items or bamboo items cultural activities see they are typical dance style whenever they are happy they dance vigorous dancing and they have their own singing style different types have different types of dancing all are very strong people because they eat natural food a lot of exercise tribal dance all are participating during dancing see another one peculiar dance style is a congo tribal dance very popular this is another one type now let us have a glimpse on another dance this dance is performed by a village community whenever they are happy they perform dances together the most important happy moment is the birth of a child whenever a child is born the community members they join together they come with their traditional costumes and a dancing let us have a look on the dance okay some extra questions name the most important tribe in drc you must be knowing most important tribe then which is the national animal of drc yesterday you might have studied then drc is known as the natural zoo of the world why you must be knowing DRC is thinly populated that means the population is very less one reason then get an outline map of india and locate congo on it okay thank you very much